Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is... Jojo! And this is the road of the record, where we work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you'd like to see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is That's Chef. Can. A restaurant tycoon game. And this is episode number 7. We are continuing to work towards the inevitable goal of taking over the world. Or at least becoming the largest restaurant on the planet. Take that McDonald's. That's right. Going down. Alright, so we continue to try to turn our minuscule profit week by week, day by day. But at the same time, improving our menu, keeping our ratings up, continuing to grow that popularity, and continuing to develop our ingredients, our own skills, so on and so forth, as we turn this, well, minuscule profit. Now, we, we do have space for one more table in this restaurant. And our staff, while still struggling at times, is handling it all for the most part. Annie, help me out. Help me out. Annie, take over for a little bit, will you? There you go. There you go. Okay. Your turn. Take a little break. Alright, well, anyway, so. Does Linnell, please? It's a lot of people waiting outside to get in. I think we're just about time for that one last table. And <laughs> I don't know how well our staff will handle it. It's been a very busy day here. Everybody's a little bit tired. I need to take a break. But ultimately, we, we make it. You know, we're, we're getting through. Okay, let's hope Fanny help me out now. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's tough. But we make it. Day by day, there you go. See, now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. Alright, wow, that's also because we're about to close. Ta-da! Hey, 244. See, profit. Profit is profit. Morale is up. Everybody's jumping for joy. Boop, boop. Now, we need to look into kind of what's next scenario. The expenses are really staying the same. It's kind of the earnings that fluctuate day by day, but food was definitely up this time. Last time we focused on the vegan and vegetarian, eliminating weak options from the menu. Weak options? Uh, right now, we're kind of down to one weak option, and it's the first appetizer we created. Not a very oh. good score. Well, what? I think that's it. <laughs> uh... So, I think we need to look into another appetizer. We just have limited options right now. Um, the oven we don't have for the quiche, Lorraine. That tortilla de patate we removed, but it's the same poor rating that we have. So, if we're going to build on this, we need a strong appetizer. Let's see who likes a good appetizer. Maybe there's something in there. Do, do stats people who likes the appetizers uh, we could get into wine low budget tourists that's definitely one area we have not hit into yet
Okay, high quality for the enthusiasts and the gourmets. Interesting. So There's no one that just straight up likes appetizers. Uh, I think it's broken down a bit more than that. So. So, what to do? Well, uh, we only have one point for ingredients, so that's not going to help us. But I do think those wine aficionados, we could help them out. We could add a, a red. What? Oh, I love how it already puts that. There you go. See, white wine. Sweetness with a bit of bitter. Red wine. A little bit of sweetness. A lot of bitter. That is so true. <clears throat> okay, well, let's get a white on the menu. White guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Oops. Burn. What did I say? <laughs> uh, okay, we were talking about a fish soup, weren't we? Okay. Fish, fish, fish. Let's do it. What's your name for the let's do it fish soup? Mine, mine, mine. Dora. Pea soup. Pea soup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Appetizer. 114 days before Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, our viewers, don't listen to her because that's not... We're, we're recording a few days ahead of time here, so... <laughs> it's not 114 for you. Don't listen to that message. Fail. <laughs> Okay, uh, seafood tag. What do you want the main seafood item to be in your pea soup? Fish. Oh. Anchovies we can do mussels. Tuna. Mussels. Okay, and we need... Is it seafood? Mm. Oh, two. Two of them at 50 or more. So mussels and... Shrimp. It's a good combination. Sure. Alright, what else is going into this? Spices. Thing? Ginger. Put uh, rosemary on it. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Basil. Hmm. Okay. Let's put some. Stock? Stock. Or yes. water? The chicken stock. Oh, there was that soup. There you go. And then. And then. Boom, boom, boom. And then, and then, and then, and then. Okay. Let's go to vegetables. <laughs> Tomato, onion. And garlic. Mmm. Let's put some spinach on it. I think we're good. Need a little more fatty in here somewhere. Oil. Olive oil. Is that not spices? No, no, there it is. Because we need to saute it. There you go. And then make sure. All right, we're up to a 90. We've already, the flavor is there. Now it's just balancing the taste. And that's my department. Okay, the ginger's not altering that at all. How about the pepper? The basil. A small quantity for that one. Salt. There it is. There's a 100 just like that. Dun, dun, without dun, dun, messing dun. with anything else. And we're not going to get we're higher good. than 50-50 until we can start getting some skills. So we have healthy, we have vegetables. Do we want to try to up this? Yeah, there you go. You up that just a little bit. You get the seafood tag. And that's probably all the tags we're going to manage to get for our pea soup appetizer. It's 230 That's not that cheap to make, but uh, it's okay. 
the cooker. Save. You can sell it more expensive. Pea soup. Well, it's an appetizer. I don't want to pay that much for an appetizer. What? We just made a main core soup. <laughs> Forgot that it was going on the appetizer menu to replace the the so sad and sorry tuna bag. Of course, we know more about the how to balance these things out now than we did back then. Uh, we also need to add the cheap white wine. And let's bring that one up. That one starts at five, even though it's cheap, because it's wine. All right, now for the base menu items outside of the beverages, soup's on up. We only have a single one that isn't four plus. That's the cod onionizer. That's one of the first things we made. Make it replaced here in the near future. Or we just keep building and adding. But otherwise, we have reshaped the menu with quality. Hooray, hooray. Whoop, whoop. Now the recent tags, yeah, we got rid of all the three stars. So the most mm. recent 50, we're back into a, a very balanced, healthy mix of very good and excellent prices. Not everybody's a fan of okay. as we've added new items that are more expensive, but the quality of the food is making up for that difference. And that's also helping with that profit a little bit. The ambiance is very much fixed now. That plus 10 we picked up in ambiance is really making the difference. Uh, I think it's time we add one more table. Let's do it. There's a risk involved with adding that table. Can they handle the workload? Okay, now we had these green. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, did you get brown this table. time? I did get brown this time. Oops. It should be green, isn't it? It's still brown. Okay, there we go. Hopefully we can handle one more table. That puts us at 11 tables in all. Nice little sequence, everybody leveling up there. Up to six experience points, three ingredient points, four more influence points. Fanny a hand on those main courses. The wait staff is doing a good job at the moment, balancing everything. Lolita getting a little tired. Let's give her a short break. Hey, 400 popularity grows. A fairly popular food blogger wrote an article about you and your restaurant. It's a good article. It talks about a promising new chef in town. You! Nice. Cool beans. Cool dude. <laughs> Alright, so that... It's gonna just about bump us back up over three thousand. Thousand? Almost here. Let's see. Let's help Lanella a little bit. Fanny, help me out a little bit.
I think our next venture might be to add another piece of equipment in the kitchen and start adding menu items that involve that. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's it, folks. Most enlightening information of the day. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a lot. It's late. It is. And we've made it through the day. What time is it? Lolita's oh a my little goodness. tired, Leona. Why 12 a.m. Oh, there All right. Uh, smaller profit today. Ah. Sales were down slightly. Expenses there? went up. Oh, duh. Hello. We spent 300 For what? Oh, those are the table. Yeah. So we spent 300 on a table, which meant we actually made 400 on the day. Mm -hmm. So adding that extra table in made another about 150 on the day. Or at least another 100 so it, it is helping with the profits. We're almost at 3000 per day. Morale is max for everyone. Mm -hmm. They're jumping. Jump! Oh, do it! So let's, let's see what's available for the kitchen, first and foremost. Because we have not done much with this in a while. We have our, we can our cooktop, more. our grill, and our table. So what? The fryer. Counter chef master. What's the difference? I have no idea. Counter. That's just a regular. Higher quality. Mm. An oven. We don't have an oven yet. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? So we have cooking slots, maintenance cost. Mm. Okay, a smaller oven. Smaller maintenance cost. The fryer. A deep fryer. Rice cook, huh? That's a tabletop fryer. Oh. <laughs> That's a cheap fryer. Okay. Okay, we have a grill. We have a grill? We do. We have an Uncle Bob. It, See? Looks, it looks like a printer. <laughs> and what's this? Oh, a steamer. Ooh, okay. steam. so, A steamer, a fryer, or an oven? Uh, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Well, okay, maybe well, we steamer can costs do... 700 The... Fryers. So you have, it's got very few cooking slots, but it's very cheap maintenance costs. This one adds more cooking slots. The maintenance is much higher. So this one's really the cheap way to go. Mm. Why go to cheap? When you get. This one, not one. Mm hmm. Well, it's the maintenance cost that I'm looking at, mainly. So do you want the fryer or the oven? Do uh, we have plan for menu and stuff for any of those? Well, it would be based on those. Expensive onion. There's a cheap oven. It's only 220 You even have a green one. <laughs> Get me for color. <laughs> <laughs> I guess oven oh, and a chip Can you jump the lasagna do you like? Alright, we have an oven. Woohoo! Congratulations! Oven, oven, oven. We have an oven where someone may cook an oven.
What's that fairy tale? The one where she cooks the children? There is a fairy tale cooked children? Yeah, the witch. Okay. Okay, so we need the recipe editor. Or do we need to go first to the character panel and unlock something that's going to use the oven? Like a lasagna. Okay. Lasagna. Put a couple, few points into that. Let's go back here to this and try to put in a few points. There we go. Wow, Fanny, four points. What are we gonna get you working on appetizers? Sure. Fanny can now do appetizers as well as main nice. courses. Okay, so we just unlocked lasagna. Ooh, a green lasagna to make in our green oven. <laughs> okay. That's our... The gooey. Zombie puke. <laughs> and it's with a Z. Because it's zombie. Okay. This is a zombie. Zombie. Okay, you need fresh pasta. And then, and then what? <laughs> Let's make a little cheese. <clears throat> you need meat, meat too. What beef. Need? Beef. It's what's for dinner. <laughs> Cow cheese. Okay. What else does he uh, use? We need the onion. I need to cook the meat. Uh, then you need tomatoes for the red sauce. Oh. You have to choose the quality? I'm confused. It's not automatically already supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you automatically well, make it the right? best you could make it? It's already, right? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. I thought we already did it. Is it supposed to be automatic? Because you already upgraded it, right? So you need to click on the star? Apparently. Craziness. And that's where we're finally getting into skills. Yeah. What? Oh, game. You didn't tell us that. Nope. You cheat on us. No tutorial. <laughs> the alert as you go. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What do we need in here? Um, the zombie tomato. puke is not very... It's, it tastes like puke at the moment. Mm, salt and pepper, and then we need cheese. No, I don't already. What else we need for lasagna? We got cheese. I think that's it. Because you just need the sauce. You could put mushroom or pepper on it, maybe. What, what are we lacking in yes, you bitterness? Can. Needs a little more bitterness. Beef and mushroom will Mushrooms will together. provide. And that's also protein. Yeah, see, just like that, we jump to a 92. We're still only at a 40 on the flavor. So 
So what could it use? Ooh. Five. Dang, this is expensive to make at the moment, though. <laughs> well, lasagna is always 14. expensive. One fifteen. One sixteen. That's a lot of salt. A one twenty-one. Dang. It's a heavy weight. Can we get away from that? Oh, there you protein. go. Because you have two, two protein in there. The main ingredients. Protein. It's cheaper now. Ten or more ingredients. We're two away. Garlic. And olive oil. Bam! <laughs> 140? We still didn't get it. Let's see. What? We didn't get I don't think we have enough. I think it's skill three things. We don't have enough of those. But either way, we'd still just jump to a 140, so. One forty three. Okay, sure. That's that's a quality score right there. It's expensive to make. Well, it was expensive. It was seven something. Now it's five ninety. So it we cut it down a bit. Cut it down a little bit. Okay, so that is a main course zombie puke. <laughs> uh. Pilk, pilk, baby. Ten dollar. Let's up that Betty spaghetti a bit as well. Mm. Top menu items at the moment. Our ratings. All kind of came down a notch, looks like. It did. Mini ingredients, seafood offer, healthy specialization. Our balance has completely changed now. Food enthusiast, 20%. Ooh. White collars up. We need to take a look at white collar for our next menu item. So you need to click every time you do that. So you can get the skill, <clears throat> the stars. Apparently, and that's how it works. All those menus before, and oh well, actually, we could go back right. in and, and really? up those. Can you do that? Yeah, we okay. could. Yeah, cause edit, edit, uses edit our menu items. Okay, Fanny, you are now on appetizers as well. Now with six to go, we could also go into... See, I think I've already got everything here, yes. Here, yes. Over here, no. But I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna be moving away before too long. Mm-hmm. Gonna move to a larger site. I mean, we can't expand as it is right now. The problem is, is we're not hugely profitable yet, so we need to be taking money with us as we go and head on to our next location, bigger location. Give ourselves a break. Leanna's already helping. 
Yeah, let's give her a break. She's been working hard. Okay, we've recovered. Get back on everything. Yeah, that's enough. And help out Linnell and Julita. Let's give them a break. Go get them back on it. Take Liana off. Everybody's good to go. Rolling through the later evening. We lost three customers because we were too slow. <laughs> it's only one group though in the entire day. It's still not bad. Four points for the ingredients now. Be able to apply that in the morning. Tired again. Bunch of people at the door, Liana, help out. Two new decisions available as we broke 450. Icoa restaurant's contract. Icoa is back. They hold the key to our hearts, but they are still Icoa. Starting their restaurant division, and they will now allow you to participate in their exclusive closed beta. Yes, they are running a closed beta for tables. And what do we have here? World. Known company when it comes to restaurants appliances signing a contract with processing food Inc you'll be able to access to some good quality tools for your kitchen so about uh, Julita here she's a little bit tired Just fine. No customers, just cleaning up tables. Minor profit for the day, but everybody stays happy. We didn't lose anything. We did spend the 220 on the furnitures and tools, so it would have been 250 otherwise. Maintenance costs did go up a bit as well. Alrighty, well, hey, we're, we're continuing to turn that minor, minor profit day by day, even though we're still growing and expanding. So mm, yeah. that's, it's all positives. It's all good. Uh, oh, cool. Let's go back into that ingredients panel and see what we can do. We have six points available, and apparently we have discovered how to use this all properly, which we're going to go in and try to tweak the... <coughs> Recipes that we already have. Okay. It's kind of the next step to so all to get them to all reflect did, to get the, the value, yeah. right? So in the meantime, we have six points. Where to use them? We're still very much lacking in fruits. Uh, we could spend three points on basil because we're finding that's very useful. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the dairy department, could certainly improve the cheese. Cheese is on a lot of recipes. Or the egg. Or we can unlock more meat or seafood. The fresh pasta we're using a lot. That's a good place. And then what else? One more point. Olives. 
artichokes, asparagus, mm. corn, my new meat. meat. My siblings. No. Out to you, though. Ducks are my siblings. <laughs> Don't eat them. <laughs> okay. Don't there's eat. sausage, there's ham, a new seafood. New seafood. I like that. I love seafood. Uh, let's see. We've got trout, sturgeon, octopus, lobster. Bass, clams. What do you want? Clams! I think she has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so menu. We are going to go into the menu and we are going to edit recipes. It is increasing the rankings. It is. It is doing it. There you go. Just like that, 104. So we're not changing anything else. We're just improving the quality. Uh, everything's coming up. Few points. Wow, that one thirty one now. <laughs> changing the order of the menu as I fix these. It's getting hard to remember what I've already done and what I haven't done. I think I already did the onionizer. Why do we call it onionizer? No idea. Hung out with Britney Spears for a little while and threw an onion at her. <laughs> that and reminds me of the womanizer song. Oh, the cost all went back down to nothing. We're going to have to redo all that. So you need to redo all of this stuff. Well, at least I know which ones I've already. Why it doesn't? What? It's not making sense. It doesn't automatically do it. Okay. Well. Sorry, we I'm still whining about prices. that thing. <laughs> hey, like the game's in beta. Okay, not everything's perfect. <laughs> No, Even though go. I'm not happy with all the prices, you gotta go all going through. all crazy. 
back again. Yeah, why, why is it not automatic? Why wouldn't you put your best skill into something? Like, period. Actually, a lot of people don't put their best skill. They go for the cheapest to make. Oh, I'm 99. I wonder if I can... Oh, of course I can. Just like that, a 109. Okay, so we... <coughs> these are the same, but we need to redo all, all of these. And I have no idea what the amounts were before. Okay. Bloody salad. That's this really expensive like for a rice. One. I did not do this one. Excuse me. Ah, oh, that ego steak. Not cheap to make. did change the cost on what, what it took to make all of these things. Hmm. As we changed the quality of the ingredient, made them more expensive. Okay, well, menu rebalanced. There you go. And our ratings went up a lot. Oh, no. That so, changed a lot, huh? Mm. Well, that's good. And we're catering a lot more to food enthusiasts now. 20% cheapskates are down to 30%. They are no longer a vast majority. Uh, we are very much fitting more into white collar, so I think we need to take a look at white collar upper class tourists and see. I mean, the, the food enthusiasts I know already, they'll take anything. They'll, they'll, they'll take anything on the menu as long as it's high quality. And that's why we're we're picking up a boost with them. They it's, need to try it. The menu is high quality. So that's why they're into the dress. How do you say it? <laughs> How do you say what? What are you mumbling over there? Let's uh -huh. help uh Linnell out with the door. A bunch of people outside. Uh -huh. Couple that's tables a not yet full. We got two tables empty. Going to take care of them. You are resting? How could you? <laughs> Nobody's resting. Okay, so we're averaging very good here Hi. recently. But a few of the even betters. Prices. Again, the main complaint, but that's also the thing that's keeping us. Keep everything else up, you could charge more. Advertisement policies unlocked. The radio. Video killed the radio star. Okay, take a break. Take a breaky, breaky heart. Let's take a brief look at Kind of a, a breakdown of stats, where we've been at uh, for the last four weeks, or the last week, or look at today. So all customers spending about 11 bucks each, four-star ratings, cheapskates spending a little bit less, but still good ratings, blue collar spending a little bit more, the white collar, yeah, see, white collar, not very happy at the moment, three and a half stars, 
and they are definitely spending more and we're getting more of them coming in so I think we need to start catering to the white color a little bit so we'll take a look at that soon uh, lower class tourists if they're pretty happy that was all last week. We had nothing on them prior. Vegetarians are coming in now. I'm doing okay there. Same with the vegans. I mean, at least we're getting something out of them. The food enthusiasts, though, definitely spending more. But the white collars are spending the most outside of the gourmet, which they are not happy at all. We've only had two, though. So white collar, I think, is something we can take advantage of right now. So what are the white collar like? Seafood and wine. Okay. Seafood and wine. Mm, let's make some seafood but earlier. <laughs> well, the easy thing with that and knowing that is we can just wait them on now for a little bit. Let someone and Liana handle their duties. Um, wine is an easy one to approach. So far, we've only unlocked white. And not even the good white so we can unlock the red we can unlock so that that'll help the white collar bring them in by having them the those options and yeah, let's back off of these duties Ooh, except for the door is a little crowded so yeah let's help those people out so they don't leave there we go Staying up there. Staying up there. We're, we're doing good. <clears throat> but anyway, that that's going to be our next target is the the white collar community. Okay. Seafood and beer. Seafood and beer. Oh, no, seafood and wine. Oh. As we at the end of the day. Dun, 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 dun. A day of profit. And we make our own prophecy at the end of the day. How to move forward. We're up over 3,000. For the money we're bringing in. So that's on the up and up. But that is going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Mm, Jojo here. Be sure to hit that like button. Like we'll check like in it. with you again next time. Subscribe. Bye for now.